In this assignment, we will explore three-dimensional visualization. Let's open grass. with our location and map set. Let's adjust the windows. And set the computational region to the raster elevation. You can see that the elevation raster has resolution 10 meters. Now let's switch to map layers and add the elevation raster to the layer manager. It will be automatically displayed in the map display. To make sure that we see and that we work with the uh, entire map as we set it in uh, by G dot region, let's zoom to computational region. This will adjust the display to computational region. Now, to see and to visualize this elevation data in 3D, we simply switch the 2D view to 3D view. Now we can adjust the viewing position, let's say from south, and we will increase the height of the viewing height. Now the elevation, date, elevation model looks a little bit fuzzy, so let's look at the resolution. Click on the data tab and here we can adjust the, res the resolution of the raster. There are two resolution modes, fine mode, that's the final rendering of the digital elevation model, and then coarse mode, which is used when we, are moved, when we are moving around the digital elevation model. So you can see as you are moving the DEM, the resolution is lower. So let's adjust the fine mode currently. When the resolution says set 6, that means that we are looking only at each 6 cell. So if we want to see every single cell in our digital elevation model. We need to lower the fine resolution to one. And you can see as we are lowering it, the uh, image gets sharper and sharper. So now we see the DEM at its full resolution. Now let's go back to view and let's explore different ways how we can modify the viewing position. So we already turned around the DEM here. We can also look at it closer and farther away. We can also zoom using perspective. And we can adjust the height of the viewing position. Now another way how to uh, adjust the digital elevation model is by working with the DEM directly, with the DEM model directly. So we can pan, so we can move it around in the display window. This or we can rotate it the 3D scene. You have to be careful while doing this because you can get it may be difficult 
to get it into its original position. So to get it back without having the model tilted, we can click Reset. Now let's again move it to the view from south and a little bit higher. Let's look at the exaggeration. You can see that it's now set to 10. That means that the elevations are 10 times exaggerated. Let's lower it to 4. You can see that also the view has lowered, so we need to bring it back higher. If you reach the top of the height slider, you can still adjust your height here numerically. Let's say we will go from 4,000 to 14,000 and then you get, can again use the slider. Now let's, uh, let's look at some other ways how to color, uh, color the digital elevation model uh, and combine it with different the, uh, raster map. So for example, you can drape a predefined raster map on the digital elevation model. So we can select it here and let's try land class. So this will change the color of the digital elevation model to land use. So the orange is for example developed areas, the green is forest. Uh, we can also select another layer, in our case lakes, and we will look at whether our digital elevation model fits well with the lake raster. Uh, when we change the draped map, you can see that now the surface is rather washed out. How can we bring back the texture? So let's look at appearance. And in appearance, we can adjust lighting and to, to reduce that wash out, we can reduce the brightness we can also adjust the direction of light and we can adjust the height of the light source. And we very often use lightning and, and interactive change of lightning position to look at small features, subtle features in the topography. So let's go back to view and let's say we want to explore this uh, valley. So we can pin our model in this location by look here. Then the center of view moves to this location. So we can rotate it around this location. We can zoom into this location. And now you can, for example, change the light source look at different features. So, for example, now we don't see the channel here very well. But if we change the direction of light, we can see that the channel indeed continues all the way into the lake. So, then if we want to go back to the center uh, we just click the center button and we go back to the view of the entire digital elevation model. Now when you are done you can save your image here. In the next video we will continue with this surface so don't quit it and we will add vector data to the digital elevation model.